Hello, Pepper friends. It's uh, Pepper Wolverine over here in Willowbrook, Illinois again. It's, uh, got a special pepper for uh, for us, or more so, I guess, for me uh, today. Uh, we're doing it inside because there's a massive thunderstorm that just rolled through. It's pretty wet outside. I was going to do the outdoor video, but uh, yeah, one of the plants that I was pretty happy about with the recovery after all my insect problems just split in half and broke off so outside made me upset again it's gonna be one of those seasons and that's why I have good friends throughout a lot of different pepper communities that like to help out like this one um, gentleman by the name of uh, Rob Bloomberg uh, who's an acquaintance of mine on uh, Google Plus's pepper lover community sent me a Reaper crossed with a chocolate bootla DM, Dave Miner. So that's uh, one of the Dave Miner strains uh, that he uh, grew out. And somehow Rob managed to cross his Carolina Reapers with his chocolate bootlas. And he ended up with a bumpier bootla with the similar vibrant red color of the Reaper that he sent me. So he's got himself an interesting pepper that should be quite explosive. I've been putting this off for a couple of days because I am actually nervous and a little bit scared, to be honest. This is, has potential to be one of the hottest things I've eaten on video. And so I've been putting it off. So I just cut that down the middle. Decent uh, amount of thinner placenta covering a good portion, like a quarter portion up towards the stem. Um, I can see some oil moving around on the inside. The camera, the lighting above me, the cam lights in my basement are kind of going to mess around with this a little bit. Um, the smell reminds me a lot of the uh, citrusy tones that you sometimes get with the Reaper. I'd be interested to see what his garden bed is like and what nutrients he uses to grow this. The Bootla, um, I've eaten a couple, but um, I haven't had the Dave Miner version. I've had the... Uh, what is the other one? The Seleski version, I think. Um, which is a little bit different. So the Bootla uh, is the Boot Dougla Cross. Uh, supposed to, it's pretty gnarly. And then, as most people are familiar with, the uh, Reaper. Cross them and you get something like this. It's actually it's a beautiful pepper. Uh, nice elongated shape. Um, in the neighborhood of two and a quarter to two and a half inches long. Um, smells pretty fruity. Mm, even all the way down here at the bottom it's got a lot of heat. I can think why um, just putting this off. <laughs> It's almost got like a nutty flavor to it. More from like the chocolate of the bootla. Hmm. The seeds are really small in here. Not really, not very big. Decent amount of, yeah, it's not gonna allow me to too much in here. It glistens quite a bit on the inside. With, uh, it's quite a bit of oil. Pretty bitter. 
I should have just chomped the whole thing simultaneously to get through the bitterness and see what it's about. I'm not going to eat the seeds. Um, I'm going to save a couple. So, I guess cheating a little bit, but I'm going to save some of them. And it's bitter enough already without eating the seeds, so. I got every little piece of outer pod wall that I could. Hmm. I didn't split it all the way down to the stem, so that, or maybe I did. Hmm. Bitterness already is subsiding, actually. Being overwhelmed by some uh, floral tones. And the heat's building already. I mean, I just got out of the shower about 10 minutes ago because I'd been outside and was sweating like a maniac. It's about 93 degrees and it was 82% uh, humidity uh, right before the storm hit. I went right out after the storm hit and to check the damage in the garden. And uh, wasn't out there long, but long enough that I was like, ah, I need a shower. And then I was a little bit upset, so I was like, you know what? I've been putting off eating a pepper for a couple of days. Let's go, let's go and eat it and see what it's all about. Um, it's all about heat. It's got a, a good amount of heat to it. It's the... It's, uh, it's attacking the tongue with like pin, uh, pins and needles, so like for me, reminiscent of like a scorpion uh, sting to it, making me salivate like crazy. It's got a actually a really pleasant flavor to it. I'm surprised as hot as it is, I can discern some of the flavor, but it's got a uh, little bit more leaning tendency towards the uh, reaper um, but I haven't had that many bootless so maybe it's partially that I mean the original earthy nutty tones I would associate with the chocolate pepper so I assume that's from the bootla uh, heritage the heat it's just probably a combination of two super hot peppers sweating quite a bit. Mouth is pretty much on fire. The pins and needles that were on the tongue have started to go down the throat. Halfway down the esophagus, you can start to feel the burn almost getting to the stomach. It's a pretty damn good pepper. Pretty darn hot for uh, fresh eating. Surprisingly good flavor, not too uh, floral. Um, more fruity, actually. But it's hard to get the fruity flavor through the burn unless you're tasting the saliva that's being created in your mouth. So if you can ignore the intense heat, it's got a great flavor. Hmm. Rob, you have a special pepper in this Reaper times uh, DM chocolate bootleg. That's for sure. It's a little bit different heat than uh, than the pepper that I ate uh, uh, a weekend ago. Uh, that was a Reaper cross. I think maybe it was a California Reaper or just a random Reaper cross that uh, almost put me in panic mode for a short period of time due to the insane heat level that skyrocketed but it subsided. This one's more of a mellow climb. It's a, it's a hell of a climb. As, as you can see, I mean, I got a bead of sweat that just rolled off my nose. 
but it's a slow building crescendo. It's not just an immediate bam. It is, but it's not so overwhelming that you can't enjoy the flavor. But the heat's still climbing. We're, we're about, I don't know, five, six, six and a half, seven minutes in after I started eating it. Still salivating quite a bit. Can actually feel it working its way back close to my ear. Um, it's uh, making my nose run. And uh, I think um, I have the start of a two to three alarm ear ringing fire. So when I get to a certain point that peppers really are going to... Um, push the limits for me I get ringing in my ears but it's only certain types of peppers I've had really hot peppers that don't do it and other really hot peppers that do do it something about this pepper is working its way to my ear and uh, almost like a, a ringing numbness feeling in it and it's on the two to three alarm level I've hit uh, a four alarm and a five alarm once before um, and that was kind of scary that one had me on the floor half an hour later, uh, curling up like a little baby uh, due to stomach cramps. I had a good meal before this one, so hopefully that won't be the case. Uh, it definitely has potential to be a gut bomb. We'll see. Flavor that's left in my mouth is really pleasant, really enjoyable. Fruity. Yeah, running nose, sinuses are clear. Oh man, that, that cleaned out the tubes, that's for sure. There's good reason I was nervous or skeptical or hesitant uh, to review this pepper. It's uh, got a lot of heat to it. Oh, sorry about that. Oh man, sorry about that. Uh, didn't realize I was, my nose was running that bad. <laughs> uh, so, you know, when I eat a pepper like this, I just, you know, imagine that I'm outside in my garden last year or the year before, or actually any year besides this one, or sitting on that beach. And I think it'll end sooner or later. But this one's actually enjoyable. The burn's significant, the heat is high, flavor is awesome. This is, might be. Giving good competition uh, for me personally to a Jay's Peach uh, Ghost Scorpion, which I think is one of the better or best uh, tasting peppers. The, uh, excuse me, I really enjoy the brain strain. And a couple other random ones here or there that are lesser known. But this has a darn good flavor. Rob, if you have a bunch of these, you should be making a hot sauce with this stuff. No other peppers except for this pepper. Wow, that really put on the sweat storm. Uh, heat's plateaued. So it was a good 10 minute burn. And slow building. Crescendo to the climax. It's worked its way down to the stomach. I can feel that it's definitely going to cause a little bit of a discomfort. I'll be drinking some water after this. Milk doesn't help me. I just flush out the system with water, maybe a, a barley pop or something like that. So when you, uh, if you're Rob Bloomberg and you cross a reaper like this with one of your bootlas like this, you got that Reaper Bootla that uh, I showed you earlier in the video, and it was a, it's a damn good pepper. Hot as the dickens. I'm not going to lie about that. I mean, you can see the, okay, I'm a sweaty guy. I sweat nonetheless, but you can see the effects that it has on an individual. And it went up to the ear and gave me a little bit of ear ringing, ear fire. Um, would not recommend... Uh, this for fresh eating for most people, not a whole pot anyway, I mean a quarter slice, an eighth slice, depending on the size of the pepper. Or take one of them, put it in a 
salsa for you know, like your entire family. <laughs> no, Rob, you did a great job, man. Thanks for including that in the in the uh, generous box that you sent me. I'll be uh, sending you some uh, Hobbs's hot pepper products, Wolverine products uh, here pretty soon. It's a great pepper. Uh, reach out to Rob Bloomberg on Google Plus Pepper Lovers Community. Um, see if he's got an excess. I don't think so. I think he's going to keep them for himself and make some powders. And if I was him, I'd do the same thing. But uh, if it's okay with you, Rob, I'm going to take a couple of these seeds and plant them pretty soon because that's a heck of a pepper. It's hard to get a pepper that is that hot with such an enjoyable flavor. Assuming you can get past the heat. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been a uh, pleasure for me, even though I was skeptical, nervous, and uh, slightly scared. Um, for good reason. Hot pepper. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll do this again sometime soon as I got some uh, some other peppers that showed up in the old, the old hot box uh, that uh, I got to try and put them on video. So, take care. Uh, we'll do this again soon.